What up, what up, world? Happy Wednesday, and welcome to another edition of Pop Dust Presents. I'm your host, Decent, and my guest today is a bad, bodacious babe from bed A little ratio for that ass today. <laughs> She's slated to release her debut project, Summer, which comes out this Friday. Ladies and gentlemen, we have Bailey in the building. Hello, Woo! Hello live audience and friends, digital world. Yes, on all the internets, yes. across all the worlds. Bailey, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you. How are you feeling? I'm feeling good. I had a photo shoot today. That was, photo shoots are always awkward. Really, why? For me, as an awkward bunny. I don't know, I'm not like a, I don't love, I don't love it. You don't love I it? I don't love the cameras. I don't mind you guys, but I don't love the. But the camera loves you, so that's all that matters. Well, thank you. <laughs> Bye guys, that's the interview. No, just kidding. <laughs> so like I said, you Debut project Summer is dropping this Friday. You've yeah. released quite a few songs and videos off of it so far. Yeah. And it's all amazing. Thank you. Really amazing. We're going in. Like, yeah. I, I don't know. We, I, I wanted to put out, you know, a visual with each song because I feel like it's so important for people to get to know me. Mm -hmm. And I feel like that's the only way that the music will make sense, that they know how, like, weird I am and, like, artsy and, like, Annoying and, and awesome. And emotional. Thank you. <laughs> Only the best on Pop does. You just released not one, but whatever's more than one. Um, what comes? In? Two. So what inspired you to do two different versions? You had the Yin version and you had the Yang version. Yeah. I feel like reality is so multifaceted. I always talk about kind of like the digital influence and the social influences and issues we have in my in my music. So with the visual, I just wanted to kind of like go take it a little bit further and, awesome. um, you know, give people two visuals and, and give people like something to interpret for themselves. You know, awesome. it is. It's funny that you say that because I was thinking the exact same thing watching both versions because art is so subjective and yeah. it's open to interpretation and sometimes what we may have in our head as far as like a video for a song may not necessarily be what we get. Totally. But the fact that you kind of gave options and yeah. dualities to a song that could have so many layers to it is super cool. Yeah, I think also like I love interacting with people. I love kind of people sharing their opinion and shedding and shedding light because it's always been a thing that like made me think deeper or like more metaphorically about um, art. So I'm like, okay, you guys tell me which one you like better. <laughs> you know, I like that. You're giving them options. Yeah, that interaction between like the audience, the listener, and myself. It's fun. It's more fun for me. I'll say that. Awesome, awesome. So you have your debut project, Summer, yeah. coming out. Mm -hmm this Friday, what's the inspiration behind the title? Well, I And can mean, I listen to it past summertime? You're allowed to listen past summer. Yes. It's a little it's bit worried. It's fine. You can also play it summer after summer after summer um, if the world doesn't just become one summer. Global warming. It's not a myth, people. It's a thing. This is the music that I like that, you know, I've been working on, the music that I, that I kind of like the most out of my vaults and vaults of music. Mm. I do songwriting, too, so it's... I have tons of unreleased music, and so we're calling it Summer Mixtape because it's coming out in the summer. And it gives you that kind of feel-good vibe. It's kind of like a coming of age kind of thing for me, so. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. And outside of the music, just the visuals, like I said, from yeah. Mr. Miss Smith and NYOB, whatever, yeah. all those songs, you look at those videos and you get a summertime New York City, yeah. Brooklyn vibe. So. Yeah. I think it's very, very appropriately titled, and just the fact that it's just such a simple title, but the music has so much gravity yeah. and so much depth to it. Exactly that. I just want the music to kind of speak for the, for itself, and the music to kind of be the thing that, that holds weight, you know? Awesome. So the summer mixtape title, it wasn't really that thought out. It was just like, cool, here's some music that I did this summer. So let's backtrack a little bit to okay. Baby Bailey. Yeah. How did you get your start? You know, what was your inspirations and all that good stuff? Me and all my siblings did go to music school, but it was also, we were always in dance and I was doing visual art forever growing mm -hmm. up. So I just fell into music and into singing. I never like really took lessons for that or anything. Um, and then I was like in a band, an amazing band called The Skin, so, which was like really my introduction to like the industry and, you know, different collaborat collaborators, producers, and, and the wealth of knowledge that I have now. 
kind awesome. of as a writer and and um, you know artist. What would you describe your genre to be? Because looking at your visuals and hearing your music, it's very very hard to put you in a box and just call it yeah. pop or call it R and B or soul. So what would you classify your music to be? I don't know. I always say pop because pop can be anything. Mm -hmm. um, but but no, it's really like anthemic, it's empowering, it's something that always has kind of a message and really it's just storytelling. I don't really know. Sometimes like I want to hear trap and I want to play something more like turned up and sometimes I want it to be a ballad. So I don't know, I, I guess I'm not really, that's the hardest thing for me, a genre, like choosing one thing or one style. That's right now I'm, I kind of like blending everything, you know. And that's pretty much the temperament with, you know, not just the music that you make, but you know, every genre oh, at this yeah. point. It's, yeah. The lines are sort of starting to get blurred, which I feel in essence is a good thing because mm -hmm. it races the lines for you to be pigeonholed and boxed in and you exactly. can experiment and it makes for collaborations a lot more easier than before yeah. where it was definitively this is hip hop, this is pop, totally. this is rock. But now we can really become more innovative and because everything is just blending, blending, blending of sounds. It doesn't have to be so rigid. I really Definitely. love that about music right now. Definitely. So some of the concepts and ideas that you have when it comes to putting these visuals together, like where do you start? Where, where does the process take you? Making music is always so collaborative and the visual part of it is too. It's, it's finding the right artists to collaborate with that are passionate, that are skilled and that like, you know, are really about that, that kind of imagine, imagination life and kind of thinking outside the box. For my videos and stuff, it's just I was so lucky to work with amazing directors, you know, who really conceptualize, they take the, the, the concept of my songs and make it something really, really dope. How autobiographical is your music? Oh, it's super, it's super real, um, real to my real life. It's very, the only thing is I can be kind of cryptic in, the, in my lyrics um, and I'll leave it I won't be as straightforward as being like, I went outside and I was annoyed and I'll make it more, <laughs> more poetic than that. But yeah, it's, it's all real, it's all. And as far as the recording process, what, what was that like? Was it exhausting or was it pretty seamless? Well, it's not exhausting for me, no. I think recording is, is like you're at the finish line of recording. For me, it's writing. Mm -hmm. Like, I see music as something that like lasts forever. It's like an immortal thing. So. It has to have meaning and it has to have some oomph, you yeah. know, and it has to have something special. Yeah. So when I, when I'm like, all right, this is the lyric, that's a bigger deal than when I go and put the vocal in. When making this, the decision not to change it, not to scrap the song, for me, the writing part is huge. Yeah, it yeah. seems like, you know, you have to be that meticulous when it comes to oh my God. crafting lyrics because it's a bigger picture with you because once again exactly. your visuals aren't so typical and your yeah, songs yeah. are big and yeah, you know so. have a really really big anthem feel so when it comes to crafting the right melody or writing the right lyric yeah. it has to be I'm like a crazy I'm like a crazy perfectionist about it yeah and so and it makes it like really I'm probably so annoying to work with sorry producers <laughs> um, because it's really, it's, I'm really tedious. It's a tedious project. It has to be great. It has to be as great as possible. That's all I want. As far as the un unreleased music that you have, yeah. um, do you have any intentions on releasing it soon or just pretty much taking it apart and deconstructing it and making something else? What are your plans for all your unreleased music? No, like how I've been doing with this summer mixtape kind of releases, just going every few weeks, I'm just putting stuff out there super casual. I just want to put it out there. I'm going to try and keep that momentum going um, and just as much as possible give people music. Like, I, I'm not really, I've tried it the other way of going kind of like one big song. I don't think, I just want to put what I'm feeling out there in the moment, you know? Definitely, definitely. So that's, yeah, I'm, I plan on continuing to do that through fall, winter, more music possibly through fall winter as well. Don't worry guys, she has the other three seasons covered. I'm right? going hard. It's going hard season. for us. <laughs> this is this isn't a summer fling. Oh We're my god. No, it's not a it's not a one a one seasoner. <laughs> but speaking of summer once again, um mm -hmm. grew up in Brooklyn. Yes. How was that experience as far as being an artist? Because you know, somebody who now lives in Brooklyn, I can see how it can be very, very inspiring. It's cool. 
how was that yeah. you know, going as far as you know growing up and as far as putting together this project what what part did Brooklyn play in all of this Brooklyn and New York like I'm so weird and weird in a good way meaning like I feel like uh, multifaceted as a human that's what Brooklyn is you, it's every flavor of human being like that you meaning like personality wise you know background whatever um, such diverse culture Brooklyn is like insane so I, we were so lucky to grow up there me and my siblings and yeah every style of music hip-hop I'm from Bed-Stuy so Biggie Jay-Z you know what does the future hold for Bailey once summer is out into the universe and getting all this amazing praise and adulation that it deserves oh and I can post pictures saying that I knew you when Grammy night arrives oh my and goodness. acting oh my like Lord. I knew you you know that kind no, of we know each other we've spent so much time now together yeah we're drawing mine together man yeah it's like a thing. Yeah, it is a big thing. Um, I don't know what the future holds. Maybe a tour. Maybe a tour. Maybe. That would be nice. Definitely some more music. Maybe some cute collabs. Who knows? But you guys should follow me on Instagram. Um, and just stay posted. Does that work? It's a very, very, very existential answer. Uh, but I feel like it fits. <laughs> it's fitting. Very, very fitting for me. But Bailey, thank you so much for thank stopping you. by. We love you. Yes. We appreciate you. you. And the videos from Mr. and Mrs. Smith are out now. Yeah. The video for Out for Love is out now. The video for Underneath is out now, what? which is actually on popdust.com. But you can go check it out. You know all my videos. I love them. You know there's a ton. There's a, there's a lot of them, but they're all well worth watching. And make sure that you guys support this beautiful, talented young lady. And we hope to have her back in the near future. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Pop Dust. Once again, guys, I am Decent. This has been our number one of Pop Dust Presents. Make sure you follow us on all social media at Pop Dust. Make sure you visit popdust.com. See you next week. Pop Dust out. Yeah.